Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we are going to create this awesome text projection effect. This effect works the best on photos that are darker with some prominent highlighted sections. I'm starting with two different layers, one of the portrait and one of the image of the text I want to use. The best types of text that work are those that already look lit or digital. I've linked the text image I'm using in the description. First, I'm going to scale and move the text to display how I want using the Unified Transform tool. During this step, you can also decrease the opacity in the Transform tool options to get a better idea of how it will overlay on your image. Next, we are going to change the blending mode of this image text layer to hard light. We can also decrease the opacity of this layer slightly. Now, using the Warp Transform tool, we will create a more realistic appearance of the text wrapping around parts of the face and hand. Using the Grow Area option, we can create an appearance of curvature, such as on our fingers. Using the Shrink Area option, we can further create an appearance of curvature by dipping text between the fingers or around corners of the face. Use this tool until you have a believable effect of the text wrapping naturally. Once we have an effect we are happy with, we want to duplicate the original image layer. You can do this by right-clicking on it and going up to Duplicate Layer. Then we want to drag it above all other layers. If your image isn't already grayscale, you can desaturate it by going up to Colors, Saturation, and turning the scale all the way down. Then, once your top layer is grayscale, again go up to Colors, down to Exposure, and turn the black level and exposure up until shadow portions are increased and lighter portions turn white. Then click OK. We will change the blending mode of the new layer to Darken Only. This will help create a bit more depth to areas that are darker and translate that onto the appearance of the text. If you still see text out of place in your project, you can create a layer mask on the text image layer by right-clicking it and selecting Add Layer Mask. And choose the first option, White with Full Opacity. Then click Add. Make sure the layer mask is selected by clicking on it. Then, using the Brush tool, with the foreground set to Black, and the brush hardness turned down, we can go around and remove and darken some portions of text that are out of place. And that's it. You've created this awesome projected text effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.